quite a front row forward. The Rabbitohs will have to do battle with the Magpies, and out they come. We get one of us. Magpies looking for their first victory now of 1997. Des Hasler, the veteran. Nice ball from Hasler. Andrew Leeds chimes in. Leeds cut down. Eight metres out. Oh, well done there from Leeds. He had the support on the inside, but he went to ground. It was too dangerous to pass. Here's Newton. Newton jigging. Pops the ball, and Trindle is there, but he was offside. Yes. Well, I hope both sides can keep up this sort of enthusiasm by Skelly. Back there goes Andrew Leeds. Oh, cool like, as a cucumber. Like purling a wrapper off a lolly. Hey? Easy. Lang. No way through. Paul Sutton involved. Quickly done. Trindle. Simon. Look to get the ball on the inside to McLeod. The Magpies were sweating on it. Andrew Leeds all over the back of Simon. Yeah, no full back at home. Leeds up in the line making the tackle. See if Trindle can work that out. Sutton. He's a genius at a little chip over the top. Burns goes forward against his old teammates. Trindle. Good short ball. Driscoll oh. on the rampage. I think he's lost it. He's got it down. Driscoll gets the ball down. Oh, what about that for a front rowers try? A bit of power there from Driscoll. And Trindle feigns on the outside. The short ball he ran from around the back of him. He bumps out of a feeble attempt to tackle from Newton. Crushes over the top of Leeds. And that's a great try. That's great coming from the blind side. Always hard to stop that sort of thing. He's a powerful runner. That'll do me. Downward pressure. And there's the first try to the Bunnies. Here he comes, Driscoll. Willie Newton couldn't hang on. He tried desperately. And there's no doubt, Driscoll goes across for the four-pointer. He was on the rampage. And you wouldn't believe your luck coming at a rampaging pace right back like that. You see Willie Newton standing there. Keeping their composure. Really like the look of Don McLeod. He's a player that looks to have plenty of time to... Time for the Magpies to defend. And they've been... Well, the Magpies, what a let off this is. Well, they've been down on this ruling. That's uh, Sutton just playing the ball between his legs without actually putting his foot on. I think that's the rule of the week, Locker. Yeah. You know, when they... They sit down during the week and say, this weekend we're going to be tough on. Yeah. Oh, Willing Newton has not found touch. And here goes McLeod. Upended by Lang. That is virtually a mortal sin. Well, I don't think it'll be long before he gets the hook actually lifted or are the Magpies believing a bit of their own press? Here's a good set of play. Miller out the back. Leeds tackled on the halfway line. Last tackle though for the Magpies. Lang back. They work the short side. Pearson, the kick ahead. The chase is on. That's a great kick. O'Meara taken in the end goal. And a good chase there from the Magpies there. Again, it was Darren Willis showing his experience. That was a tremendously placed kick there from Pearson. Landed in the end goal area. O'Meara had to sprint back to get it. There's the kick now. Have a look at the determination of the chase. That's Willis who arrives there first to clean up. And that's a ball back. Last tackle now for the Rabbits. They go back to Trindle. Good long kick. Forcing Leeds to run back to 10 metres out from his own in goal. A searing Lang. Virtually inexcusable. Well, I don't know about that. I thought it was the pass was a little bit hard from Andrew Leeds, a more experienced man. And that is exactly what South wanted. I'll tell you what it was, a great chase from the Bunnies. Newton, George Arliss, back for Pearson. Cut out ball, finds himself in space. James Smith comes to a halt 12 metres out. Good tackle from O'Meara there to finish off that play. Great tackle. Newton, Lang back. And Pearson was the man running off the short pass. Mesher, Newton. Leeds, they're up out of their line quickly, the Rabbits. Willis, Willis for the corner. Trindle came across in cover. Last tackle, 
George Alice. What's happened? South ball. Play on. Gee, I'll tell you what, that was great defence there from South Sydney. They rushed up as one. Oh, there's a good front on tackle there from Jim Smith. There's the ball. Have a look at the defence rushing up there. The ball's on the ground for anyone. And cleaned up there by Skelly. Good pressure from South on George Alice, who had to deliver a rush pass. Ruben, who just makes yardage every time he touches the ball. He picked the right men to run at then, too. Using his noggin, Ruben. Good player. Ostini, the former rooster. Trendall beats the chase. Matt Manning strides downfield. Hogan. And the man to ruin the play is Willis. Well, I thought they took the wrong option on the outside there. They were looming up in the middle. Again, it was Don McLeod. There's the intercept there by Willis. Don McLeod would have been away under the pace. Turnover. I've got it back. Simon. Sutton. Back now for Quinn. And Wester inviting the Bunnies to score. Let's see if they can. Magpies are yet to have a win. Forward he goes, Ostini. Good tackle, Mesher. Trindle. Cut out pass. McLeod goes over for try number three in the last two weeks. And the Cowboy rides high in the saddle for the Rabbitohs. McLeod goes over. The Rabbitohs jump to a 10 points to two lead. Well, I'll tell you what he did. He stayed on his line very well. That was a face ball there. McLeod off his right foot. And that was Leeds in no man's land. Desi Hasler arrives a little bit too late. McLeod scores for the Bunnies. Ten points to two. Good, patient play. Trindle, the pass. McLeod timing his run to perfection. And the Magpies are in a heap of trouble, Mario Fennick. Oh, they are. This could not have been a better moment in, in play. McLeod, hasn't he shown some class? Hits the ball. He's a long, lanky lad. A crucial try for South Sydney with some six minutes to go before half time. Ten points to two. Well, apart, apart from Terry Messier, there's no other man kind of turning in the fence, and I'm sure Tommy will be spewing about that at half time. Here's the kick downfield. Leeds comes across, gets a bad bounce, but plenty of time. Oh! oh great gutsy play by Leeds in the end, who had to just throw himself at the ball. Good A chance. Siri Lang Good hangs chance. onto this one. Skelly, Driscoll now. Last tackle. Jeez, and enthusiasm's an amazing thing, isn't it? Will they go to the air? Trindle, they do. High kick. Pressure on Lang, flew high. Rabbits have got it back. It's still the last tackle. And more. Marty, more. Now double, double movement. movement. I'll what? tell you what, that's a tough call. Penalty two for the double movement. Everyone stopped. They thought it was a forward pass out to Moore. Have a look at this. Is it a double movement? Willie Newton again being brushed off like a fly. Is it double movement? Yes. I would say so. Well, he didn't really try to advance the ball. Here goes Shane Miller. Oh, turn it up. And referee's going to have something to say. The bloke he gets a head high on's a midget. He's only small, that little fella, Shane Millard. And he was down low on the ground. What do you reckon, Muzza? Yeah, oh, fair enough, Billy, the referee. Uh, a clumsy tackle by Wilson. I just got to make a quick comment before half time. I'll be very surprised if. It, if the young halfback comes out, Newton, they just lack direction. West and South. 40 metres out, last tackle. They go back to Leeds. The kick is high. Puts some pressure on O'Meara. Stands his ground, takes it well, loses it. Rabbit's ball. I'll tell you what, they're lucky to come out of that. That was great chase there. And has the ball gone forward? I'd say he's lost possession. Perfect opportunity there for the Magpies. Position than you. That was a perfect attacking ray for the Magpies. Finished off poorly. A mistake has been forced. It's a penalty. Two in the tackle. Stripped by Desi Hasler. 
Oh, was it stripped or was it bumped out? We'll have a look. I reckon it's stripped. There's his hand on the football. That's stripped by Hasler. Good refereeing decision. Well, good judge, Blocker. Hasler had the hand in there. Mario Fenix so far on the shoulder of Scandalis. Trindle, the little kick. McLeod is chasing. Andrew Leeds was aware of it. Trindle's been taken out and the man to infringe Paul Langmack. Yeah, Langmack tackled him after he kicked the ball, but that's a good thing about the South Sydney attack. Trindle having a blinder. He's always got so many options. There's the shoulder put out, and that's fair enough too. What do you do here? Do you have a shot at goal? You've got him on the racks a little bit, Mario. Still plenty of time. I'd say that you would have the shot for goal. I'll tell you what, Block. That is a dead set. Simbin at least penalty. He's, he's played well too in the broken field. With the Rabbits. On target to cause the second big upset in two weeks. Kelvin Jeffs is going to call out. And Shane Miller Shane Miller Miller here. here. It's time off too for the caution. And is this a dangerous tackle? It's high two in the tackle. Oh. Well, in the end, he, he did lift the player and drive him. A hand in between the legs there. I would say that that was a dangerous tackle. Well worthy of a penalty, Mario Fettinus. Leeds puts the kick in. It's a good kick. A lamp. Blue high, but well taken on that occasion. There's an experienced By Shane player. Wilson. Skelly. Inside ball. Ostini. Burns. Struggles to the line, can't get it down. Held up. 10 metre scrum. South speed. But unfortunate there for Burns. He did everything he possibly could. To get the football down again, they've picked out McGuinness to run at. Billy Dunn comes. Billy Dunn comes over the top. Burns fighting to get the football down. Ten metres scrum to the Rabbits. Here it is. Here's another angle, and they're lucky there that Billy Dunn had done the extra work. Have a look at that. Great <laughs> right, sign. I'll tell you what, a South can get a try here. That's the end of the ball game. They're on the attack. Trindle through the hands. Wilson. Manning, Hogan, Hogan's a hero. He's got it down in the corner. And Hogan comes up with a four-pointer. His second try of the year so far. Matt Hogan, and that's the ball game, I would say. 16 points to two, but still 20 minutes to go. Plenty of time. Now. And deservedly so, too. It was Wilson who put this try on the inside. They turned Willis inside out. Hogan. Charges over, and that's a try to the Rabbits. Just what they needed. And he just gets it down on the line. Wilson took his time. And then the pass to Hogan was good. Beat Willis. Trindle, controlling play. Now have a look at uh, McLeod come inside. That just held off the defence there. And that was good footwork there from Manning. And Willis, as I said, turned inside out. And that's a great try to the Buns. You're smiling, Mario. Very good try there. To see uh, Andrew Willis turn chalking. Two victories back to back. Kick off by Leeds. Trindle takes it. Driscoll. Driscoll, well, he only knows one way. He's a good kid, isn't he? Really rams it up. Skelly goes to Dummy. They all want to go now. Ostini. This is what football's all about, the fighting spirit from the Bunnies. And that's a silly penalty by Austin. Cleaned up. Yates. Bone crunching tackle by Tassel. Gee, that's a good hit there from Tassel. Just comes out. Tassel. In fact, that's Driscoll. Beats one. Yeah, give Just me another one, going. he says. <laughs> Rescue. Good on you, Pete. And gets the penalty, too. That's the play of the day. Well, he's had a big dig, hasn't he? Has he? What? Just warms your heart, Locker. Oh, that's good running, too. He just said, come on, give us another one, you champions. 
What about that for an effort, Mario? We haven't seen that since the days of yourself, blokes like Ian Roberts. Five-year-old gets to his feet. George Arles, Langman. Whoa! George Arles upended by Tassel. McGuinness goes back and tidies up. McGuinness still going. That's what I wanted to see. McGuinness run the football again. Have a look at this for a hit. Yeah! -ho! Goes backwards. And South just keep coming at the back pass. Since he's come up. Well, I can't believe he, he isn't in the starting lineup or at least on the bench. They're making him play reserve break. Sap a bit of energy, but I'll tell you what, there's not many better hitters in the game than that boy. Mesher. Langback, good ball. Pearson. Pearson to Willis. Has he got the speed? Back on the inside. The Magpies. They're going to get across the line. Adam Doyle. So Doyle gets it down. 16 points to six. Maybe it's 16 eight. Well, and been, we've got a great finish. We've been, we've been waiting long enough for the combination of uh, Langmack and Pearson out wide. This is how it comes. That's a beautiful pass on the outside to Willis. And there's no cover up the fence from the South Sydney side. It's onto the replacement now. Adam Doyle, who, well, you wouldn't say sprints away to score, but he gets a try anyway. <laughs> well, he say he was sprinting. Locker, he just strolled across in the end. That's a very good ball we've by been, Pearson. We've been waiting for the combination, haven't we? The inside ball there. I think we've also got to give a bit of credit to the, defense the South Sydney defence yep. on Pearson because he's been very, very well contained. That's a good ball. Willis. That's a better one. Found the man back on the inside. Slowly to his feet. Hogan. Ruben. Ruben. What a run. What a big game he's had. Ostini. Back now. Trindle. Burns. 15 out. Last tackle. Trindle's the man. Puts it high. Leads. They test him. Leads. Dropped it. I'll tell you what, he was offside in the in goal area. I don't think you can be offside in the in goal area. No, can't be. And that's Skindale it's just cleaning up for the Magpies. It'll be a dropout. And a very, very rare mistake from Andrew That Leeds. was probably the easiest catch of the day for him. <laughs> there was no one around. Probably waiting for all the traffic to arrive. Yeah, it's good to see that he showed that he is human. Trindle. Burns now. Around the legs went George Jones. Skelly. Last tackle for Souths. Trindle the drop goal. He gets it. So Trindle bumps them out to a 17 points to eight lead. There's a slight little fumble there from Tricky Trindle. He's always an expert at potting over the, the little goal there, and it was cool, calm, and collective. What a great captain's knock today. Tricky Trindle. Oh, the magpie. Call the medicap. Because the magpie is down, out, beaten. And it's he broken a wing or something. Three seconds left on the clock. This is a tremendous victory to the Rabbitohs. Lang Mac, long pass. Lang. A Siri Lang, back for Lang Mac. Ball's gone forward. McLeod, the Cowboy picks it up. The Cowboy still goes. McLeod runs it up over the halfway line. The Rabbits, razzle dazzle play. Manny, back now. That's the end of the game. The end of the section for the Magpies. Have a look at them. They're standing as one, the South Sydney report. Supporters. And South, well, they just kept coming and coming and coming. And I reckon they'd still keep coming if you put it on for another 80 minutes. They were outstanding today. A determined effort there. Tremendous. They're two front rowers. Unbelievable. I know that I'll probably say it a lot, but Ruben and Driscoll, outstanding. Trindle led the way.
really well. And he's just had an out and out blinder. And have a look at the South boys going over the crowd now. There mightn't be that many of them, but they appreciate it. Exactly right, Walker. Not a big crowd here. But if word leaks out to the way South's played today, they will be back here in force. Mario Fennec is sideline with Brandon Pearson. Yeah, thanks, Terry. I've got Brandon Pearson, the fine Western Suburbs Centre. And Brandon, you, you've seen him in a deep, dark hole. The enthusiasm doesn't seem to be there. How do you explain it? Oh, I think it's just been lost. Living on memories. It's 1997. We've got 17 players got to take the brunt of this. A woeful effort. Three losses on the bottom of the table. Coming dead last, mate. Yeah, I, prior to the game, I mentioned how you had a better side on paper, but it was all going to be about attitude. You seem to get in pretty good position, but you made plenty of silly errors, and even your attack, you were disjointed. Uh, definitely, there's no cohesion. Right? There's not even a team there. There's 13 players on the field doing willy-nilly. It's not working out all. What did Tom Redonka say to you at halftime? Tom said, this is our grand final. Let's go and play it like that. We didn't do nothing out there in the second half, nothing. Well, it's a crucial game. You play Parramatta at Campbelltown Sports Ground next Thursday night. You're expecting, a, a, a hopefully, a big crowd. Certainly, you've got a lot of work to do. Mate, there's a lot of work to be done. We've only got four days to do it. Brandon, all the best for next week. Thanks, Mark. There's Brandon Pearson now. Peter Driscoll, my man of the match, I thought. Peter, certainly you must be proud of the effort by the boys. Yeah, no, it's a good effort today. Like, after the past couple of years, we had to pick ourselves up, and this is the year to do it, you know? I'll tell you, Pete, your defence was, was good all game. Plenty of intensity. Ian Rubin had a great game as well. What did Ken Shine say to you at halftime? Uh, the coach just said, like, we've got to complete our sets of six, and that's what we did in the first half. Completed 20 with only three errors in it. But our defence is what we had to, to work on the past couple of weeks. We've done that up on the inside. We cut, we cut Langers off and Pierce so, so it worked out well. We've just got to keep doing it in, in the coming weeks, you know. Personally, Peter, you made some great charges. You really, you really symbolised South Sydney's efforts today. You must be personally proud of your, of your game. I thought you and Ian Rubin were probably the best forwards on the field. Yeah, well, with, it, Rubin and I always get in each other's ears through the week. And we're told, you know, our job is to take our side forward. To, to make some room for ourselves. So that's what we sort of concentrate on doing that in our defence. Peter, you're my man of the match, mate. Congratulations. Thanks very much. There's Peter Driscoll, the man of the match. South Sydney have won your beauty. <laughs> well, he hasn't had too much.